Alrighty, hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a bit different than my usual. And I mean, I say my usual. What is even as usual on this channel? I'm not sure. But it's going to be a video about excuses. And precisely the most common excuses that I use myself uh, to avoid taking action on certain things. I find that as you enter like rut, ruts and, and bad states of mind, bad things happen, more excuses start to pop up and up and up. And if you're not careful, they can start to control your life and stop you from taking any action, which is very, very dangerous. So without further ado, let's get started into it. I've got post-it notes over here going over all of them. And they're going to be in terms of how much I use them. So the first ones are the most common ones and the latter ones are less common. Number one, excuse number one, I'm too tired. All that, how, how many times have we heard that? How many times have you heard yourself say that and friends say that and everybody around you say that at least once, right? Oh, I'm too tired for that or I'm so tired right now. I can't do that. Oh, I don't have the energy. Most of the time it's bullshit. Most of the time, don't get me wrong. If you've just done a crazy hike and you can barely move your legs and you know, mentally you're exhausted, you had a really long day at work perhaps, um, and everything's just, just completely destroyed, then sure, okay, maybe you actually are too tired. But for a lot of tasks, you know, like let's just say it's doing the dishes, I'm too tired, are you really? <laughs> are you really too tired or are you just making an excuse? I've had this one so many times, because um, I feel like I need to be at a certain point. I always feel like I need to have a certain kind of, like, amount of energy mentally, which is very arbitrary before I start doing anything. And that's one that I've been slowly changing and I'm realizing you don't really need that much energy to do stuff. It really does come down to just discipline. <laughs> building discipline, building the habit, and countering this guy, countering this guy. So that's the most important one that I found in my own life. I'm too tired. No, you're not. Most of the time you're not. And you know, Reflect on that. Reflect on that, right? Am I actually too tired? It's good to ask yourself that question. So, excuse number two. Why put in the effort if it won't go anywhere? If it's bound to fail? Well, that one is quite difficult to deal with. That's a, that's a, almost like a core limiting belief almost for a lot of people. Uh, goes, it's it's one that can really, 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 really stop you in life because if you want to start something new and you have, and you know it's going to help you, you know it's going to be something that can actually change your life, but you're so used to, you know, trying a bit and then things failing, then, right, it just seems like so grim, it seems so grim. And this one has really affected my life a lot. Because with a lot of new things, I feel like I need to be great at it immediately. Uh, or else I'm not meant for that, or it's not made for me. As we know, that's bullshit. Most people, the vast majority of people who become good at something, do not start off good. Right? Maybe they do. Some do. But that's a very, very small amount. And the vast majority of people struggle. You struggle through it. But you keep on showing up regardless. So that one right there, very dangerous. It stops you from taking action and gotta be more aware of it. Gotta be more aware of that. Uh, just take the action, right? Okay, excuse number three. This is a bit strange. Uh, it's too late to start this slash I'm, or it's too late to start this slash I'm too old for this, right? For me, I'm 22 years old. I don't know why, why I tell myself this excuse, but for a lot of things, it kind of goes with the last one. Uh, for a lot of things, I tell myself, oh man, come on, I'm too old for this, or, um, you know, it, it's just too late to start, like, why, you know, I've passed my prime, I've passed where I could, <laughs> it's nonsensical a lot of the time, especially at my age, um, so, because I kind of often tell myself I'm older than I am, you're not, man, just realize your age, right, realize your age, and even if you're old, there's people who are like a hundred who run marathons. Like what? <laughs> if that if that's not a counter, if that's not like the greatest counter to that, then you know we start completely new things. They start pottery at like a ridiculously old age. They start Brazilian jiu jitsu, things like that, right? Uh, become start a new career at like age 
60, 50, 40, you know? Never too late. <laughs> Great song, by the way, by Free Days Grace. Anyways, uh, excuse number four. I am just not built for this. Slash, everyone else is better than me. Now this one, I don't really tell myself that too often, but sometimes I do, where I'm just like, and it goes again with uh, two, like two excuses ago. Um, you know, just, oh, it's why put in the effort, it's not meant to be. This one is kind of like a supplement to that. It's just like, oh man, come on. I'm just not made for this thing, right? I'm just not made for it. So why even try? Why even bother? <laughs> and that again, stops any kind of action from happening and it keeps people in the exact same place. So that excuse right there is very, very dangerous. Again, most people don't start off good. They start off bad. Or not great. Gotta keep at it. <laughs> okay, excuse number five. This one I don't tell myself too often, but there's not enough time. Um, this one, I mean it more in the context of like assignments. You know, sometimes I've got assignments due and I'm like, oh, well, I don't have enough time today to do that. Or I don't have, right, usually it's in a, it's in a certain time period. Like, oh my God, I've got only like an hour left. Like, I don't have enough time for that. We'll just get started, right? Just you know, if you have five minutes left before class, and okay, maybe you, you know, don't start an assignment, that wouldn't make sense. But you know, if you have a couple hours, well, you don't have to finish. Just open it up, do a bit, do a bit. All right, and this one is really, um, it has to do again. All these things are related. They're all related. I'm sure you can see patterns in how it's an overestimation of the amount of work it'll take, an underestimation of your ability to complete it. But they're all things that you tell yourself. And when you start to believe it, then boom, man, no action ends up happening. So, you know, if you've ever read Atomic Habits, that's a book that really kind of distills the ideas behind actually having things change. And it is atomic at the end of the day, tiny, tiny action. Having an idea of who you want to be, not necessarily goals, goals are kind of like behind the identity you want to become but more so the steps you can take every day to become that person. Like for me, making these videos, right? Oh, a big part of this is me just wanting to become more comfortable talking to a camera, becoming better at communicating my ideas, and learning how to make videos. <laughs> I enjoy doing this, right? So it doesn't have to be great. These videos are not great by any means, but they're fun to make, so why not? Anyways, okay, uh, excuse number six. Oh, I have so many responsibilities already. Oh man, I, I have so much to do, dude. Oh, I got this and that. Sometimes you do, don't get me wrong. Often you do have a lot of things to juggle. I mean, in life, think about it. The career, relationship, academics, family, health, uh, both physical, mental health, all these things. Right? You can't possibly keep it all in control at all times. Some parts will have to suffer a bit more than others, but... Um, you know, in most cases, there is a few things that you can focus in on. And yeah, that excuse right there, it actually is applicable in a lot, in a lot of scenarios. But usually when I tell it to myself, it ain't true, right? Especially with the one with, it goes in with the one with time. Oh, I don't have enough time. If I'm scrolling on Instagram or uh, watching pointless YouTube videos, come on. Oh, that's just lying to myself at that point. I know I'm lying to myself. So, yeah. Okay, the next few um, have to do like social settings and just like procrastinating uh, social things. And th these ones, again, are tied to limiting poor beliefs about yourself. But this one, excuse number seven, uh, I am not attractive enough for them. All right, so let's say you're at a bar and or just a coffee shop or whatever and you see somebody that you're attracted to, all right? Personally, I've been so conditioned to just believe that I'm not enough, that part of me is not enough for them. So, right, you see this person, and if you've kind of conditioned yourself in this way, you start to see them up here, you start to see yourself down there, all right? Oh, I don't have the looks. I don't know, and okay, we're gonna go into excuse number eight as well, because it's very related, I won't know what to say and end up embarrassed, <clears throat> right? I'm not attractive enough. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Oh no, I'm gonna stumble over my words and look so embarrassed, right? 
and then I'm gonna reinforce this idea that I'm no good. Once again, these excuses are very tied to your identity. Uh, but they can be changed, they can be changed, and you can't possibly, you know, work on all of them at, at, at the same time, but uh, if you really look at the core of who you are and you're able to start changing that, then these excuses slowly start to go away. And I've, I've found myself, especially with the work thing, um, just being able to take more action in certain areas, not having to feel exactly a certain way before I take action, that's the one I'm working on right now. Now things like this, right? Oh, I won't know what to say. Well, maybe you won't, but how do you know? <laughs> how do you know? Maybe, maybe they don't find you attractive, but how do you know? Right? At least try. At least try, and if they don't, well, maybe change your look. All right? Like for me, I don't always look like this. Often I'm clean shaven and I got shorter hair and I look better, right? And I wear sunscreen. Like some days I just look better than others, right? It's all about what are your goals right now, who do you want to be? And those things right there, always things you can work on. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one, yeah, this is another interesting excuse I don't use too often, but uh, number nine, I don't even know where to start. Hmm. Where to start? Oh, this is such a big field. Again, when you're starting something new, it's like learning a new topic, uh, perhaps learning about an inch, like learning how to play an instrument. Could even be like a subtopic. You know, let's say you're studying math, you're doing like linear algebra, and then this is a new topic. Let's say you're learning about singular value decomposition. Oh, that's oddly specific. <laughs> right? Maybe I'm learning about that right now. And, I don't feel like I've got the base and I don't know where to start learning about this. Well, just plenty of resources online. You just have to be uh, willing to put a bit of effort in to learn something, all right? I don't even know where to start. Well, you kind of do know where to start. You, you've, you, the fact that, you're, that you've entered this place, and if you really don't, if you're fully clueless, then just ask, you know? A lot of people, you'd be surprised, are actually willing and, and want to give you advice and tell you uh, help you out. So <laughs> the world doesn't have to be this scary place. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, lots of parts of the world are scary, but the mind likes to make it seem a bit crazier than it is, especially if you've been, uh, once again, conditioned to believe that way. So, uh, excuse number 10. Okay, this one, yeah, I don't say this too often, but um, <clears throat> it'll be boring slash not worth my time. All right, this one. It's like, oh, I'm above this thing. This just won't be fun. Meh, why should I go? Why should I would say it's a networking event or something or a party or something that, you know, maybe you're a bit scared of or maybe you actually do believe it'll be boring. I don't know. But, you know, that's an excuse I don't use too often, but still, maybe you do. And um, because of that, you're like, oh, well, I'm above this. You know, I just, I think, like, you don't know. You don't know. Try new things, right? But again, that one, I don't, I don't feel too much of a connection to it, so I can't speak on it too much. That's why it's excuse number 10 and not number one. Uh, number one, again, I'm too tired for this. Oh my. <laughs> That's the one I really want to work on. And have been working. And, oh, oh, my throat's dying. Um, but whichever, if, if there's any of these that you know apply to you, I'll write about it in the comments. I would love to hear your opinion about it, and I want to have a discussion about this, if anyone's made it this far, I'm just realizing this video is almost 15 minutes, 14 minutes long. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and yeah, see you in the next video.